Hello everybody and welcome to um, our second video in which we'll be going through in which we'll be going through consoles and what they you know what their design is all about uh, and how they'll function within the game. Uh, with me is James. Hello John. <laughs> <laughs> I just Hello. happened to be around the corner. Hello James. Um, I wasn't actually expecting that so uh, that was actually quite a pleasant surprise for me as well um, as well My as company. people watching. It was brilliant. Um, you're looking slightly uh, like ungroomed uh, compared to last time we saw you. I'm not feeling too well, to be honest. Mm, you look a bit sick. Brilliant. But while he's getting on underway, I'll just um, start by going through what display we have here. So each console, when not being used, will be on this uh, overall status screen. Um, either side of the central circles uh, will be an icon displaying what system this is. This is sensors um, and that's what the icon here is representing, but on different systems it will have different icons. And in the centre of the display is the status dial. Now this displays three things about the room that the console is in. The first is shields, and when shields get depleted this will display there. The second ring in, which is the green one, will display atmosphere, which is a combination of pressure and oxygen, and will also display what levels are in that room. And in the center of the status dial um, is temperature. Now this will raise above and below the center point to describe how close you are to being too hot or too cold. Has it moved at all? It's working perfectly, James! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we'll, just call Je now we'll just call James back. Get in here, boy. Oh, very unorthodox method. <laughs> Brilliant. So, would you like to would you like to show the people how you get into a terminal when you uh, when you don't actually have access to it and just take people through this system? Sure, yeah. So, um you can use the terminal by pressing E or whatever key you've bound to uh, using stuff and it'll take you to the access screen. This is the default screen you'll see. It shows the room that you're in, any neighboring doors like the green the red one there and any players inside this room. Which you can see the green one's me, you can see me move around. And the other one's John. Oops. You can see him move around. Yeah, there you go. Nice. No, that's, no. What I pay, that's what I pay you for. <laughs> um, this screen is how you hack into the terminal. This is the override screen. And there's a certain sequence of these dots um, that will override, that will unlock the screen when I test it. Um, it's probably not this one, though. Let's try. So we can see by the color of the dots when the, like, the pulsing energy thing goes through it, uh, the status of like, the order of it. So um, let's, if we see this again, you see that this one's green, so it thinks that um, both of its neighbours, so the, like the starting node and the one after it, um, is in the right order relative to itself. And C also thinks that. But then A, uh, so it's orange this time and red this time, so it's just like randomly choosing one. I think that's because A is the odd one out. You'll notice there's four different nodes we can choose from, but only three will be in the sequence. So one of them will be the odd one out, which we just worked out as A. So if we try it again, so now we have green and two oranges. These two oranges mean that they think that one of their neighbours is in the wrong order. So that's going to be each other. So if I just swap them. Now we have two different oranges. Swap these again. This should be the correct sequence. There you go. And now I have access. I can get onto the security screen and add myself. Uh, blue means that you have access to the uh, access page. You can open doors and stuff. Green means you have access to the system page. And then red means you have access to the security and the previous tiers as well. Um, John, you're, you're not allowed access. Well, that is very cruel, and I'm actually kind of upset. Yeah. This screen will probably change in the future. There's like a temporary one that just is functional. But, um, the, but the overall idea that when, you, you know, when you're first on a ship and you don't have access to a terminal, you, you have to go in there and override it. Same if you're a boarding party, you will have to override uh, terminals to get into other rooms. And because you can then unlock uh, or lock adjacent doors to that room, it, you know, um, that is how you progress through uh, a locked uh, a locked down ship. Yeah, so now that I've overridden it, I can now control the neighbouring doors. I can close that one and then lock it. I can open the one behind us. <laughs> yeah, just proving that it's definitely there. And then lock it as it was, and I can't lock it closed because we're standing too close to it. And so on. Um, also, I think something that we missed about the override screen is that now that I have um, security access, I can now set what the sequence is. So I'll set it to be this, and then shuffle it. So now someone else who wants to get access, um, because, well, John was watching, so he saw what the previous one was. But now that I've shuffled it, although he was still watching that as well, 
um, he should find it harder to hack into it. Mm -hmm. Also, the override screens will probably have a lot more um, nodes than this. This is just because it's easy to hack for a video. It'll probably be like um, you can get upgrades for a, a room that will increase the number of nodes in the, in the override screen. So a room that you really want to protect, uh, you would upgrade the security on? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so um, we've done the override screen and the access screen now that I have the privilege to open the doors. Um, the last one is the system screen. This is only in some rooms. It's for the rooms that have a system inside that you can interact with. Uh, for this example, this is the sensor screen, uh, which we'll go through in, a, in more detail in a, another video. Um, and usually you'll have a system-specific screen like this, and some of them will let you see like a, a view of the ship, like the current ship that you're in, um, to interact with things like in life support and shields. And I think one final thing, um, just just on the subject of consoles uh, overall, one important thing was that um, all actions are to be done not through menus um, that just display over your screen, but are instead all done through the console. So as much as we can, we're going to have displayed on console, and therefore it was important to have it so that all players can just look at a console and see what another player is doing, like I'm doing now. This entire thing was done... Uh, through my eyes, although I'm not controlling it, which I think is pretty impressive. That's right, like John can see exactly what I can see, even though I'm the one controlling it. All actions are synchronized to John as well, to, or to any player that's watching. So that means like um, if, well, behind us is the pilot's room, and he could like glance backwards and see whatever the census guy is doing, to see like uh, what he can see without him having to say it specifically. It, it as just, long as he's not staying in the way. <laughs> it just creates a deeper level of interaction and immersion, really. Um, which is obviously a nice thing to aim for. Yeah, also it can be a bit annoying if you're like inside a, a GUI menu on the screen, you know, taking up your space, and then someone comes to attack you, and you have to like click out of it or something. Whereas with this, you can just walk away from it or just look away, and it'll snap you out. Look away or walk away, and that'll yep. take you out. Okay, yep. uh, and I think that's all we have for the overview of consoles. Uh, we'll also be doing videos on each individual system, um, and so you'll be able to find links to the, at the end of this video uh, to them. Yep. Thank, Thank you, for, you for watching. Thank you for ah. Oh, I was <laughs> gonna say. To it. I was gonna say ah. Oh, boom! Killed you just by walking into your face. Suck it.